I grew up in uh, my parents' kitchen, and I think that's why I'm a chef. Orian won the world championship for food. Orian's like the Michael Jordan in Norway. I'm very happy that uh, Philip Tessier is here. Uh, I'm gonna teach him how to fish. My father is fishing the lobster, my friend is fishing the monkfish, and we have uh, the world's largest fjord trout farm here. I think he will have an amazing trip here. You know, fishing for mackerel, uh, never done that before, and uh, the ease with which it's done just, you know, I think shows the bounty. When we were all fishing, uh, I gave uh, Philip the easiest fishing equipment. I think Orion, you know, played a trick on me with the, giving me the pole that doesn't catch anything. <laughs> If it's beginner luck for me, because it's many years since I'm fishing, I've got a full house of mackerels. Being able to just take mackerel, put it on a grill outside, right off the boat, so it's kind of the things you dream of. I love cooking on fire. Can't beat the flavor. Fantastic. The flavor you get from the charcoal is fantastic. Then the skin is a little bit crispy. Dip it in some oil, salt and pepper, and just some lemon or lime. It's always nice to have something from home too that you can bring or show, you know, put a little lime juice on the fish. And for some reason, Philip had a surprise. He had a lime in his pocket. The best thing for me though is, you know, what you don't have to do. And uh, you let the fish speak for itself. It's amazing. It's so good. Season it properly and uh, it's cooked perfectly. Nice job, chef. Likewise. <laughs> I'm really excited to see what the trout farm is all about. There's a lot of uh, misconceptions out there about fish farming, and here this is this is the model. This is the model for the world to follow. Here we have about uh, 1.2 million fish. 1.2 million. That's a lot. We harvest them uh, in about 14 to 18 months. How much do you feed them every day? We feed the, the fish about five tons. That turns into about five tons of fish. So five tons of feed, five tons of fish. That is an excellent conversion rate. Yeah, and how long is the feeding process every day? Uh, per cage, we use about two or three hours. It's like eating at your restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> Philip, this is the fjord trout. It's beautiful. Different. Yeah, compared to salmon, this is uh, shorter, yeah. more rounder, fattier. Wow, this would be uh, quite a delicacy back home. Yeah. I think the candidates in Las Vegas are uh, they're quite lucky, actually. <laughs> you know, to be able to have the the fjord trout as this fish that you know we've selected them to compete with. You know, a fish like this you want to bring out its simplicity and the clarity of it. You want to maintain the color of it. You know, you have the fattiness of the belly, you have the richness of the, of the loin. Uh, it'll be interesting to see. My style of cooking is the opposite of the Bookie Store competition. In our restaurants, it's all about the pure ingredients from this ocean here. When you come here to, to his restaurant, you know, the ocean is his garden. It's not often that I get an opportunity to show a great chef what this is all about. It's a pretty special place. I fell in love with Norway, can't wait to come back.